Once inserted, a special forces team must often conduct a raid, rescue, or other mission in a small confined zone in close quarters combat with the enemy. Such a scenario frequently demands highly specialized and sustained close air support. The AC-130 Whiskey is an aerial Terminator tailor-made for the task. It's a heavily armed ground attack aircraft, the latest and deadliest variant of the C-130 Hercules cargo plane. What's fantastic about this airplane is we're building the next gunship, the gunship that's gonna be here for the next 40 years, and it's really an amazing thing to see. The AC-130 Whiskey protects special forces with the most advanced weaponry of any gunship in the U.S. military. This is the 30 millimeter Mark 44 Bushmaster II cannon. This is what makes the Whiskey a gunship. The best way I can compare this to a legacy gunship is if a legacy gunship is similar to a basic issue battle rifle, this is like a sniper rifle. The Bushmaster II cannon fires armor-piercing incendiary ammunition at 200 rounds per minute. Aiming it with deadly precision is the job of the combat systems officer, or CISO, who gets an assist from this video infrared sensor. The M2 sensor is tied directly to the 30 mil cannon. So this is what the CISO uses in the aircraft in order to aim and fire the gun. The AC-130 Whiskey gunship also comes armed with laser and GPS-guided Griffin missiles. They weigh just 33 pounds and measure only 42 inches long, with a small warhead designed to reduce collateral damage. Griffin missile is specifically designed to get the right amount of damage in the right spot and not hurt anything else. We put the coordinates in the system, we shoot it off the aircraft, and the munition will do the rest and make its way to the, uh, the spot that we've designated. The munition comes out the tail through these portals, and once it's safely away from the aircraft, then begins its, its descent to the target. The fins of a Griffin missile fold, so the missile's body can fit into one of the AC-130's 10 launching tubes. There is a piston inside the tube, and it punches it out outside of the airplane, and once it's free and clear of the airplane, then it'll pop out its fins, right itself, rocket motor fires, and off it goes. 